Hi listeners, welcome to my channel. Tonight we have a tense first quarter moon in Leo at last degree, at 29 degree. That is compelling us to act with fervor on what was initiated on the new moon of 11th of May. This while Saturn stands still adds to the pressure and the restlessness that screams that something has got to give. At last degree of fixed signs that we observe today, sun and moon clash with each other and something has got to give. Giving form to this restlessness is pretty much the theme of 2021 and we feel that intensity especially tonight. My name is Charu and I am your host on this journey. So let's dig in. Twenty-nine degree Leo is represented as a mermaid emerges from the ocean waves ready for rebirth in human form. This is intuitive, creative part of our existence which is wondering if it would be reabsorbed back into the sea of collective unconsciousness or will it finally emerge out and take an expressible, concrete format. This is a stage of evolutionary urge where the mermaid is ready for a human incarnation and we have a yearning for solid, conscious form of our intense intuition and creativity. The royal star Regulus also used to reside at 29 degree Leo. But now it has moved to Virgo, signifying that no royalty stays royal anymore unless it creates something of value and use to help and heal the collective in practical ways. This evolution of mermaid, of our Creative intuition and desires also needs something concrete and of use to the collective in practical ways to be incarnated in its next stage. There is also a signification of the new Virgo Regulus that there is a need for a servant leader. There is a need to be a servant leader instead of a regal one. A servant leader serves the collective. A servant leader is diligent versus the one with pure flair. The very definition of kings has changed with regular changing sign. And our creativity and the way we create human form of our creativity and of our work and of our intuition needs to evolve in line with that. Our royal plans also have to change. At the midpoint of new start and this completion which will happen with the lunar eclipse that we are about to experience on 26th of May, right now we are standing at the midpoint of a new start and a completion. And this quarter moon brings challenges to a forward movement towards that completion. An old emotion pattern rises up and comes to focus and it becomes very evident that it needs to be severed to move forward. As sun squares moon, the tension specially shows up in our home and family life. Like when the head and the heart are not working together. Like when work and family don't merge together. Like when kids and the boundaries you lay out for them don't merge well together. Both need to give in a little bit. Negative emotions that come up right now they will reflect an emotional habit which needs to be 
detoxed to move in the direction of our life and our prosperity rudia used to describe this point as incoming tide of possibilities slams against the momentum of what we have already known incoming tide of possibilities they slam against the momentum of what we have already known in a very quintessential leo and taurus way when the sun and the moon where sun is in taurus and moon is in leo are going to clash with each other you will observe the fight between stability and your heart's desire as well between the child within you and traditions and the need for stability you'll find a clash between the momentum of where you want to go and what is unique about you and the stagnancy of the current moment and it will show up as restlessness saturn standing still is adding to the pressure of the day but it is making a positive aspect with venus today and this pressure can lead to a lot of discipline to work through any personal issue or give physical form to a creative intuition and venus is right now in gemini so the physical form could be words could be written material could be communication could be a discussion with somebody it could be in form of a guidance by talking to somebody who is probably elder more mature or somebody who is more matured in the sense of being in a different phase of the work that you're currently working on the thing is this is uncharted territory we are molding new boundaries we are creating a new dimension a new form of our life and no one really knows the lo- rules here they can help you and provide you some guidance from what they know but the rules of your life that you're about to live haven't yet been written and the restlessness and the frustration with status quo in this phase is natural part of the 9 month gestation process you're about to embark upon we will be in this 9 month gestation process starting with saturn retrograde on 23rd of may which will finally be completed on 15th of january 2022 when whatever you're cooking will be fully ready with the 9 month gestation process this is a full saturn cycle saturn very diligently works on every degree of our chart over this 9 month period what part of your life would be going through this 9 month gestation period what part of your chart would be going through this diligence process which is showing up in form of restlessness and frustration right now is reflected by where saturn transit is happening currently for your sign we'll talk more of saturn retrograde in the next podcast and video though you can check where this pressure build up and where this 9 month gestation process will begin for you on 23rd of may ending 15th of jan in your annual video i did a very detailed saturn transit by sign in your full year horoscope you can check that i'll leave the link of that in the description and in the comments this is a pressure point this is a pressure point because a restructuring is about to begin and what will come out in those 9 months would be very very different from what we started with 
this nine month process will deliver will come out with something that is consider considerably different from what we started with at the start of this year so you will see the evolution of that into a physical form of your creative intuition which is much more lucrative much more stable much more long lasting and more than the expression saturn is going to actually work on our own rule book creating our own rule book so we can live that creative vision in a more sustainable fashion as i said no one knows the rules here rules haven't been written yet rules would be written over the course of this 9 month gestation process which happens again once in 29 years because saturn does not come to this part of our chart till the next 29 years so it creates a long term rule book and plan and foundation and in aquarius it creates a long term foundation of our prosperity and our growth so that's what i have for you today good luck and hold the fort hold the fort i'll see you tomorrow again thank you